What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We're rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates for you guys to enjoy. So if you want to stay up to date first and fast every single day with the latest Manchester City transfer news this winter, then do make sure you have subscribed. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. 22 thousand subscribers is the aim we're less than 300 subs away any help towards that would be much appreciated i want to hit that by the end of january transfer deadline day january 31st that's when i want to hit that so any help towards that would be much appreciated also don't forget social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video aiming for 300 likes once more could hit that that would be sensational and also don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below as i'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers without further ado though let's crack on with this video we've only got two stories but two pretty big stories the first comes with a contract update and it's not on a player but manchester city's manager Pep Guardiola. Now Simon Mullock at the Sunday Mirror says that Manchester City, they believe in Pep so much they are willing to allow Pep Guardiola to go into his final year of his contract with Manchester City relaxed about the situation. Pep Guardiola has been asked, is he going to extend his stay at Manchester City? And Pep's answer was very relaxed. He's focusing on football, taking it a game at a time. He doesn't want to be thinking about the contract. He wants to take it a game at a time. But the word is from Manchester City. Manchester City are confident that Pep Guardiola will extend his stay. Now, City are not being complacent about this. And if Pep Guardiola at any one point could decide to leave Manchester City, and I have a feeling if Manchester City uh, in, well, Pep Guardiola's contract's up in June of 2023, I've got a feeling that if Manchester City win the Champions League either this season or next season, I think that could mean Pep Guardiola leaving Manchester City on an extreme high. Now, Pep Guardiola, when he does leave Manchester City, and it will come eventually, when it does come, he'll want to leave Manchester City in the best shape possible for the next person to take over. When that will be, that remains to be seen. Manchester City, though, uh, do want Pep Guardiola to extend his contract. And if Pep Guardiola expresses interest in extending his contract, then Manchester City will do so. Pep Guardiola looks very settled and very motivated, which is very good because uh, just a season or two back, Pep Guardiola looked like his motivation had gone away. But right now, he looks very animated, he looks very motivated, he looks like he wants to change life forever at Manchester City and whilst that's still the case there's every possibility that Pep Guardiola will extend his contract but as I was saying City they're not being complacent about this and have had a look at other potential targets to replace Pep Guardiola should he not renew his contract in June of 2023 and Manchester City were to look for another manager instead. And a couple of names have been chucked out there. The first is Mikel Arteta. Arsenal are very concerned that Mikel Arteta could leave Arsenal when his contract is up, coincidentally, in June 2023. That's right, Mikel Arteta's contract at Arsenal is up at the same time as Pep Guardiola's contract at Manchester City. Now, Mikel Arteta's already worked as Pep Guardiola's assistant. He's gone out there and got Premier League experience, doing a difficult job at Arsenal. And I'll tell you right now, if Arteta manages to get Arsenal into the Champions League this season, he's done an outstanding job and he will be one of the top contenders for the Manchester City job should Pep Guardiola leave Manchester City. So I want to know in the comments below, Mikel Arteta, would you be keen on him replacing Pep Guardiola? It's like a natural integration. He already knows the Manchester City squad, a lot of them. He knows the personnel that work at Manchester City. He knows how things run. He knows what it takes to lead Manchester City towards success. I have absolutely no problem if Pep Guardiola decides to leave and the person we want to replace him with is Mikel Arteta. But that's my opinion opinion would like to know your thoughts in the comments below but the Sunday Mirror have also said that Manchester City are also looking at another manager and it comes in the form of Ajax manager Eric Ten Hag now to me 
no experience in the Premier League. He's done a great job at Ajax. He's always getting linked with the top job. So there's obviously something about, uh, the, uh, about the Ajax manager that tempts Manchester City and other big clubs towards him. What's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Would you prefer Arteta? Would you prefer Eric Ten Hag? Would you prefer somebody else? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I know Enrique, the manager at Spain, he's been linked with a job at Manchester City. So do let me know in the comments below if Pep Guardiola wants to leave City in June of 2023 when his contract is up and he decides against signing a new deal at City. Who would you like to take over from Pep Guardiola? Let me know in the comments below. Now moving on to the ins. Julian Alvarez. It's the name that's on everybody's lips when it comes to Manchester City transfers right now. And we've got more developments on this transfer. Now, it's been uh, it reported by Fabrizio Romano. He says that Manchester City, they are willing to give Alvarez a five-year contract at Manchester City. But the likely scenario is that Alvarez will stay with River Plate until June of this year. Now, what's not clear is this five-year contract, does it start... Um, from the, this winter or does it start from the summer? If it starts in the summer, then it'll be a contract until 2022. Argentina, their seasons and their contracts run from uh, New Year's Day through to New Year's Eve of the year uh, of the same year. So uh, Alvarez's contract is up on December 31st, 2022. It means City cannot enter into a pre-contract agreement uh, until there's less than six months remaining on his deal. And that would fall into June, July time. And City are looking to get this transfer done now with him having one year left on his contract. And I mention this because Nicolo Scria over in Italy is saying that Manchester City are willing to give Alvarez a four and a half year contract. And I presume that would run uh, based on the European um well, registration of transfers, which falls on June 30th to July 1st. And if that is the case, then if Alvarez does sign for Manchester City, he signs immediately on a four and a half year deal, regardless of whether we keep him at River Plate until June or not, means it would be a contract until 2026. So... I'm wondering, is it a contract till 2026 for the summer or 2027? Then uh, they are the questions. But again, it has been reported that he will stay at River Plate until June because he wants to take part and the club want him to take part in the group stages of the Copa Libertadores. So... There we go. It has been reported by Nicolo Scria, though, uh, that Manchester City have got personal terms agreed with the player and his representatives already. The only thing we're waiting on is a fee to still be agreed. Now, apparently, he has a €25 million Euros release clause in his contract. Manchester City are not willing to meet that release clause and apparently are willing to go up to €21 million. Euros. So there's a €4 million Euros, um, gap. For the transfer to be done, it's all about will River Plate negotiate and bring that fee of 25 million euros down, or will it just hold at his release clause? If that is the case, then City will have to meet his release clause if they do want to sign him. Now, Fabrizio Romano has added on at a later date saying that there is a growing confidence that Manchester City will get this deal done before the end of the January transfer window. And as I've said, what will happen is he'll sign for Manchester City. He will then stay at River Plate on loan until the summer where he would join up with Manchester City on July 1st of this year. That's the latest on Julian Alvarez. Uh, as, like I said, the next step is for Manchester City to agree a fee with River Plate. And I expect once that does happen for this transfer to not take too long to be able to get done. It'll just be the formalities of him returning to River Plate. There's a couple of complications here and there. Uh, but I just had a little quick look on transfer market who regard this transfer as 86% likely of it to happen, which means nearly a 9 in 10 chance that Julian Alvarez this winter becomes a Manchester City player. What are your thoughts? Do let me know in the comments below. So there we go. That has been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, leave your thoughts of what you made of that Julian Alvarez transfer in the comments below. And also, Pep Guardiola, if he wants to leave, who would you like to replace him? Let me know in the comments below. 
Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. 300 likes is the aim, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll keep you up to date every single day, first and fast with the latest Manchester City transfer news. Less than 300 subs away from my goal of 22,000 subscribers. I want to hit that by January 31st on transfer deadline day, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email, also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and on a very last note this is my last ever video here at this location emotional for me this location i used to film back over there where that other window is there uh saw a rapid growth during the, during the first lockdown that we had back in 2020 so we have rapid growth um, it's seen the channel uh, increase in numbers like no end beyond my wildest dreams and expectations with this channel. So it holds a special place in the JSGC heart. And it is emotional that I'm not going to see this location again. That I'm not going to be sitting in this chair because things are going to be changing. Moving house, moving into my own house, which will be happening in the process of these videos going out. So the next time you see me, I'll be in my house. My own house, my own bought house, which is fantastic, great news. Um, with my own location, with everything set up and provided for um, by me. So, yeah, I, I don't, I'm conflicting emotions. So, yeah, uh, thank you everybody for the continued support. And I'll see you all again very soon for the next video. I've been JSGC. I hope everyone is safe and well. Thank you everyone for watching. Bidding farewell from this location. Peace. Ciao for now.